Hello guys, Hikiyami Moriko des, and welcome to another indie game. This one's called um, um, Psycho Fly. Psycho, Psycho Fly, yeah, Psycho Fly. And uh, let's just start the game. Oh, I can read that. So, understood. Oh my god, the static is hurting my eyes. All right. All right. Oh no, oh my god, oh god. A ringing noise was the first thing he noticed upon coming to. For a moment, the world seemed to spin before everything stopped. Oh my god, this game. Ah, oh, indeed. So, oh, what's this? It's, is this uh, a jail? When it did, he realized he was sitting in some sort of cell. Yes. What the? Oh, the cinematic feel of this game, it's amazing. Uh, the first thing he did was scramble up towards the window and pull out the bars. Despite the rusted appearance, they held firmly in place. There's no point struggling. Ah, uh, uh, it's a girl. There's no point struggling. Those bars won't be budging anytime soon. He turned towards his left. In the cell with him was a girl. Girl all with her, within herself. Who are you? Oh my god. Um. The girl looks away as she answers. I'm called Nara. Nice. What about you? What's your name? I'm... Oh my god, I can't remember my name. He dropped to the floor, waiting in mind as a headache overcame him. What's wrong? Coming down from something? No, it's just, I can't remember. The girl clicked her tongue in disappointment. In that case, I'm gonna call you Roach. Cockroach? Yeah, short for Cockroach, since she reminds me of one. Well, that, that's that's not nice. But this isn't my name, Roach. Do you remember the real one then? Uh, give me a second. I guess not, right? No, but still. Attention, attention, testing sound system. Oh my god, oh the noise in this game, oh my god. The two covered their ears as low as an alarm blare with themselves. Oh my god, the test subjects of the terror system confirmed to be functioning. Give me a second. Yes, sorry again, I I'm a little sick, so. Um, test subjects of the terror system confirmed to be functioning, beginning test protocol. A floor panel at the center of the cell opened up, raising a small glass case. Within the case were two cards as well as a slot in the center of the case that held a similar shape to the cards. Throughout this test you will be asked a series of questions. The answers to these questions are written on the front of the cards. Roach took one of the cards and looked at it. Despite resembling playing cards, oh the sound is it's really high. Uh, uh, they felt like they were made of a sturdy metal instead. On the front of this particular card was the word participate. To begin we will ask a simple question. Will you participate in this test? Please place the card with your answer in the appropriate slot. The answer then went silent, leaving Roach and Nana alone. Ooh, I'm gonna... Can I save this game? Can I... No, I can't save the game. Uh... Uh, make selection. Participate or abstain. Participate, right? You have chosen to participate in, the in this test. A loud clang echoed through the cell before the door leading outside slowly opened. Out of my way! Hey! Outside the cell it seemed like the two were trapped in some sort of prison. Damn it, open! At the top of the staircase Nana was struggling with the door that seemed to lead outside. A crackling noise announced the return of the boys. The exit doors will open upon the completion of the final test. Please refrain from attempting to open the door. Such attempts are futile. futile. Nan scoffed before heading back downstairs. What do you think we do now? Hell if I know. The next part of the test will begin in... The next part of the test will begin in 10 minutes. Please wait while we prepare the next test. Thank you for your participation. With the boys... Oh, come on. Sorry, my dog is a little sick, as you know. Uh, with the boys having gone silent, to have seemed to physically relax. So, 10 minutes, huh? 
with only each other's company, a dense arm began to grow between them. So, you said you don't remember anything, right? Yeah, I don't. I try and I try, but... Just a static. He clasped his head again. It's like static. Nana sighed in content before going to sit against the wall. God, I didn't think this was what I was singing up for. Sign up? Nana cursed under her breath as she realized she let her, her tongue slip. Just forget I said anything. Hey, if you know what's going on, I think you owe me an explanation. I don't know you anything. You didn't ever consider what I had to say about the last choice. Uh, my choice is already... <laughs> I don't know. I went with what they wanted to hear. What do you think will happen if we refused? And then I bit her lip. So, come on, talk to me. She sighed again. Listen, it's not important. I think any bit of information we can gather is important, so tell me. What did you mean by signing up for? The girl ran her hands against her knees as if trying to warm them. Her gaze focused somewhere far in the distance. Let's just say I've been struck for cash, so while going through some pages on the net, I found an ad. I earned cash doing this simple experiment, the ad said, and I was like, why not? That's like the worst idea ever. And when they told me the details, I told, sweet, easy cash for a little effort. Yeah, that that, that doesn't exist. She had a harsh chuckle. Little did I know I ended up in this situation. Honestly, this is not the worst that could have happened by following an ad that said that in the internet. Uh, Roach followed her gaze and noticed a window in the distance. He could make out the shield of a city. What is that over there? That psycho. The worst city you could ever live in. But for me and my brother. That psycho. Uh, it's our city. Psycho. Roach dropped to the ground as another painful headache ripped through him. So I, I live in. Gore Obsidian Butterfly. She has a butterfly on her. But it's not obsidian color, right? Uh, a cold sweat covered Roach as he came back to his senses. To his surprise, Nana was looking over him, a brief look of worry spotted on her face. Remembered something? I think, uh... Of course, the jumble of words only the name Psycho and Obsidian Butterflies were intelligible. But before he could ask about the latter, the latter... Attention! The next test has been prepared. Please proceed to the open cell door. In the distance, one of the cell doors swung open and a small spotlight illuminating the doorway. Looks like our time's up. Oh, the music is also really uh, intense. I, I like it. Uh, the inside of the cell was not different from the one they woke up in, only this time the case containing the cards was already elevated. Both participants are confirmed to be inside the cell, closing doors. The two jump as the cell door shut with a loud bang. I guess we have to do the same thing as before? Looks like it, but I wonder what the question is this time. As you phone cue, the voice responds. This is your next question. Would you take the life of one person with your own hands to ensure the survival of a dozen others? Please place the card with your answer in the appropriate slot. The announcer then went silent, leaving Roach and Nana alone. Uh, I'm gonna consult her this time, because she got mad uh, last time. So, what do you think about this one? Uh, both are pretty bad. Regardless of what you chose, someone dies. But I don't think it costs too much killing someone, personally. So I'd spare them even if a dozen strangers die, die because of them. Will you spare them if one of the dozens who dies was your brother? Nana Balk. I guess, I guess I would. But I'll leave the final choice to you. Yeah, what, what's the point of, of, of consulting her then? Uh, honestly, uh, this is the, the classic... Um, the, the train choice, right? Like... You move the the rails to kill five people to save one, or I mean to kill one to save five. But what happens if you uh, if the person that's dying is someone you know, right? So will I kill someone personally with my own hands? Uh -huh. That's hard, right? I, like. I, I doubt uh, any sane people wants to do that, uh, but sparing them and killing a thousand, I, uh, 
I mean, logically, you will choose to kill one, so I'm gonna do that, even to I don't think I could do it in real life. But yeah, let's just... One for the survival of many. You have chosen to kill the person. Roach and Nana didn't look at each other, but still unsure about the choice. The cell doors opened behind them again. Guess that's what they expected. Nana quietly drove it at the jail sweater. Come on, Roach, let's go. The next part of the test will begin in 10 minutes. Please wait while we prepare the next test. All right. Roach and Nana. This game kind of reminds me of games like um, 999 or yeah, that, that's come on. Uh, you're trapped in. Come to think of it. Yeah, you're trapped in, in like a cell environment with other people and you don't remember anything. Yeah, that's that's what reminds me. Those games are great. The, the escape series, I think, are uh, that's called. Uh, Roach and Nana themselves rest again. The well as they were sure no more announcements were coming. Uh, I don't think I'll get used to this. It's not so bad. I mean, either. Let's hope we can get out of here soon. Now closer to her, Roach noticed it bracing and punctured one along her arms. Hey, did you get hurt somewhere? I can't even see her arms. No, what do you ask? Your arms. Nana quickly covered her arms with her coat, indignation on her face. Mind your own business. Maybe am I your brother or someone like that? Well, I don't know. I'm just worried, it's all. You hardly know me, so what does it matter? It matters because you're here with me now. I'm sure you worry if I got her while we were doing this test. Nana huffed, looking away from Roach. You expect too much. You expect too much, but... The faint glimmer of a smile crossed the girl's face. It's nice for someone other than my brother to give a damn about me. So I'm not the brother. Uh, is it really that bad out there in Psycho? I mean, it's called Psycho. Like I say, if you're not part of some cult or gang, expect to fend for yourself. A cult? Yeah, there's been this big one making the runs recently. It calls itself the Obsidian Butterfly. <gasps> Rod Shallow Heart as the name came up. What is Obsidian Butterfly about? Hell if I know, only thing I care about them is the product they peddle. A drug? It's the reason my arms are so bruised, but it's kinda hard finding a vein when you're crashing. Oh. Don't look at me like that, a ton of people in Psycho are on it. It is as good as gold in the streets right now. For some reason, news of the drug being popular didn't surprise Roach. He imagined he knew this before losing his memories. But why is Obsidian Butterfly? Such a familiar name to me? Was I working against them? With them? Or was it like her? Just check your arms. Uh, he didn't have much time to ponder as an answer returned shortly after. The next test had been prepared. Let's go. Here we go again. Yeah, it also reminds me of kinda... Um, how was the game called about Gust? I mean, this is not supernatural, but... Uh, uh, I forgot the name. Oh, let's uh, let's go. As they entered, there was a faint smell of almonds in the air. This is the last of times the platform was already raised. Uh, same shit, different day. Both participants are confirmed to be inside the cell, closing doors. What are we picking now? I wonder. This is your next question. Will you preserve a law system even if it hampers the future of humanity, or will you dismantle it? Please place the card with your answer. Oh my God, this this is up a notch of the other one. Let's consult Nana, right? Uh, let's go. What's your take on this one? I mean, depends on what they mean by law. Psycho hardly has any legal law as it is, but there is a street law, and the law only came in because there wasn't anything keeping people in line, so the gangs had to do it. Sure, I guess you could say stopping some killer from kidnapping someone and guiding them alive is hampering progress overall, but I like to sleep with bodies closet, thank you. Ah, so it's more safety overall in your opinion. Yeah, so I'd say keep things as they are. Alright then. Oh, this one's really hard. Um, the other one was kinda easy. Because you can make it out with logic. Uh, but this one, it's, it's hard, right? Uh, give me a second. Yeah, like, um, 
like you hamper the progress of humanity right so um it's like with medicine right when you say like oh we can we can find a lot of uh, medical progress if we just kidnap people and torture them and make medical investigation on people without thinking about them and yeah you can get a lot of progress with that right but it's it's a, there is a law that uh, there's a system that prevents people from doing that even though they do it uh, behind the system right but uh, there's a system that prevents people from doing that uh, freely so we can be kind of safe overall so if you ask me of course i would like to um i would like to preserve the yeah i would like to to preserve the, the thing to keep my family and friends safe right you have chosen to preserve the system. A loud alarm blared through the room as a mist began to feel. Oh no, ma did I make the wrong choice? What is this? Roach and Nana both broke out into cooking fits so as more mist filled the room. Due to this choice, this experiment has been deemed a failure. What? Please do not resist as we euthanize you and thank you all more for your participation. Okay, euthanize? No. It felt as if I saw was tearing through Roach's lungs and no matter how many gulps of air breath, it felt like he couldn't get enough oxygen. No, no, no. Uh, oh my god. Uh, the two collapsed to the ground, forming as the monster was in five moments. Roach recalls something. Cyanide gas is a fast killer. Please be sure to use it for this. What did I... Did I design this, this test? Is, is this a game over? It, it was a game over. Uh, the color is closed. Uh, so, um, uh, there's no loading, so I have to play again. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, participate, right? Uh, I'm just gonna, um, Kill one people to save many, right? And I'm gonna dismantle the system, right? I have to dismantle the system. You have chosen to dismantle the system. Huh? I didn't think you were attacked to make that kind of choice. Yeah, it wasn't, but I died. Uh, it just felt natural to me for some reason. Just like the last two times, the cell doors opened behind them. And it looks like that what the help would say. The next part of the test will begin in 10 minutes. Right. The two were starting to grow mentally exhausted, the periods between questions being more of a torture than anything. They both slump against a wall and sighed. God, I just want to get out of here. How many more times do we have to do this? I don't know, but I want to live too. Since you don't know anything about yourself, what are you ever going to do when you get out? Roach paused. I don't know, maybe I can find something that can bring back my memories out there. Pff, someone like you will probably get eaten up easily out there in the city. Then maybe I just need a good a good guide. What? You seem to know a lot about the city out there, so maybe you can lend me a hand. Oh no, I already have my brother to worry about. I don't need a cockroach to worry about too. You'd worry about me? I won't worry. You could get shot for all I care. So soon there. Uh, aside, not a mother. But I guess when you get out, I could lend you a hand. Rod tried his best not to chuckle despite her rod's terror. It was clear Nana was a caring girl deep down. I can't help but wonder just how bad things are in Psycho to make her pull up walls like this. For some reason, Rod felt as if he had seen people in a similar situation before and wanted to help them. Now, if he were more precise, it was like he wanted to liberate them. But liberate them from what? From the drug? As he struggled once more with his memory, the time they had to themselves quickly came to a close. Attention, the next test has been prepared. Please proceed to the open cell door. This time it was the door at the center of the prison that was illuminated. Ah, oh, the last one. I think her prayers have been answered. Then I grabbed her roach to sleep and rushed it up the stairs, the fresh air of possible liberation putting a spring to the step. Unlike the last three rooms they were in, this room looked like a pathway towards the outside. The only thing that seemed to be keeping them from the final set of doors was a metal gateway with a palm-shaped panel attached to it. To proceed to the final test, 
Your result must be proven. Only the blood of an unsolid one will open the door. As the answer spoke along the inner rose of the pound make panel making the two shudder. The blood of an unsolid one. A consult matter? What do you think they mean by unsolid? I don't know, maybe something like a virgin? Do we fit that profile? Depends on their definition of virgin. I have a knuckle freak friend who says virgin blood is anyone who's never participated in some kind of ceremony. Any other definitions? No, no, look at the way Shiley. If you have to ask, you're probably the type who fits in the only other definition I know. And what is that one? She remained tightly but unwilling to answer. Guess I have to figure out myself. I wonder what kind of virgin they mean. Yeah, like, there, there's a lot of definitions of virgin, right? Uh, I mean, you can be like, the usual type of virgin, like, like playing video games all the time. Virgin, like that kind of, you know, you haven't done that, the thing. Uh, but also, uh, virgin blood could be uh, people without tattoos. So yeah, if you have tattoos, you're not a virgin anymore. If, for some standards, uh, also the drugs and uh, people that have done drugs are not considered. Um, well, virgin is another word for um, pure. Uh, if you have done drugs, you are not pure anymore, right? So, I'm thinking Roach is the right choice. I can say, it, but uh, let's go with Roach. Uh. Roach flinched as he pressed his palms into the indent. The offering has been rejected. Oh no, I'm dead again. Prepare to be at the Oh no. What? Nana reached out to pull Roach away. For a moment there was an exquisite sense of pain coming from Roach's neck as his vision turned white. The next moment he found he couldn't get any air. What surprised him was the follow to follow instead of one or two. What? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to censor this one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna totally have to censor this one. Oh my god. Uh, piano wire. They used piano wire. Well, that was really hardcore. Um, I'm gonna have to censor that for the sake of the of the video. Um, but you guys, you can when you go and play this game for yourselves, um, you can just go and play it. I'm gonna try to finish it. Um, I guess by all definitions, I was wrong. Um, uh, I'm gonna participate. I'm gonna kill the person, right? Yeah, yeah I, forget. I almost forgot. I'm gonna dismantle the. And I'm gonna choose Nana. I'm forced into the slot. Oh, what the hell? The offering has been accepted, opening the doors. As Nana pulled her hand away, she looked at Roach Worley. How did you know they needed my blood? I, I just knew. Nana looked at she wanted to question him, but the door seemed to have more of her interest. Whatever, it got a sudden. Now let's go. The door were laden downwards in a network of tunnels. Fortunately, they were illuminated enough that they worked their way through them easily. This looks like a crypt. Uh, upon reaching the largest tunnel, an announcement was made. To proceed to the final test, your result must be proven. Will you open the door that lies beyond if only pain awaits you, or will you turn back and return to the safety you knew? The two stopped there in their tracks. Again with these proofs, what shall I do? Consult Nana. Why are you looking at me for? It's clear that the only choice we have. Yeah, but... Life is pain, so if we want to leave, we have to deal with pain. No, I don't know about you, but I'm willing to push through it all if it means keep surviving. Surviving? Is that really living? I'm gonna proxit. Let's go. There's no real choice. Nana and Roach push forward, shoving the door aside as they keep running for their freedom. Am I gonna die again? After running for what felt like ages, the two ended up in front of an elevator hall. This song sounds like something from Nero Automata. Uh, where the world normally be a button to call an elevator was instead of a keyhole. In front of the keyhole panel was two lockboxes, with a single gun sitting on top of them. What the? This is your final test. Killed your partner and received the reward you were promised. 
Grab the gun or consult Nana. Oh my. <gasps> Before Reg could react, Nana reached forward and I met the gun approach. Oh my god, this is awesome. I, I love when games do these kind of things. Nah. Oh my god. Reg hearing was the first thing that we him do. He touched his ears and was surprised by home where his blood was, but the feeling lasted only for a brief moment. Next thing he knew, he was lying on the ground, the world around him growing colder by the moment. It was here in his final moments that his memories came back to him. Why he was here and why he didn't remember, I think. So, this is how it ends. How fitting. Subject number one's beetles have planted. Flatlined. Subject number two confirms the survivor. The left lockbox opened as the gun fell from an ass and revealing a syringe and a key. Quietly, she took the syringe and looked at it. I'm sorry, Roach, but I'm the worst of the worst. Nana raised the needle to her neck and pumped the drug into her veins in its entirety. A blissful smile crossed the girl's face as the drug began to work almost instantly. Ah, this is the best. Truly, truly. Where her ecstasy quickly laid way to panic. Nana collapsed to the ground, her body convulsing. As promised, a dose of has been provided by the grace of our leader. He has provided you with the purest form of the drug possible. Because of this extremity purity, please be sure to water down the dose with saline before use. Oh no. So I have to quickly grab the gun, right? Yeah, let's start the game. Uh, I wish this had a save game because... Doing this every time is... Uh, make selection... I have killed people, right? I have to kill the war. I have to dismantle... And I have to choose Nana. I have to... Proceed... Grab the gun! Roach quickly reached forward and took the gun into his hands. Roach, where are you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. With shaking hands, Roach pulled the trigger. So I have to consult her, right? No! Nada silently fell backwards by the time she hit the ground, she was already there from the shot at the chest. Despite not hesitating a moment earlier, Roach couldn't help but cry for the poor girl. Subject number two's battles had fallen in, so we were right. The right lockbox opened. The real master and a key. Mustering all his courage, one more speaker of the syringe and pump it in. Oh, now I'm gonna die again. Oh, I didn't die. <laughs> he sat up slowly, feeling reborn. Have I proven myself now? Surely this was enough. Vespa has proven himself worthy of leading the Obsidian Butterfly. The test is now concluded. Oh my god. Yes, that's right. I am our new leader, and I have a lot of work cut out for me. Vespa. As he called the elevator, Vespa looked back at Nana's body. Thank you for your hard work. If not for you, I won't have been able to overcome this weakness within me. Thank you, Nana, and thank you, Grouch. What? This is the bad ending? This is the good ending? Psychofly, worried and prone by Hiji, an art and original concept by Mukuro, music provided by Periton Music and Purple Planet Music. Sound effects provided by the Freezen Project and background image provided by Pixabay. Reply the game to unscramble the static scenes. Oh, thanks for reading. All right, I have the same butterfly tattoo. Um, so yeah, I don't want to to unravel all of this game in the video. So uh, I'm gonna play the rest by myself, um, you guys go and download the game, make different choices. Uh, there's a few of the deaths I missed, uh, and I, I'm, I'm gonna have to censor the, the ones I, I got. So if you want to experience the game fully, go ahead and download it. The link will be down in the description as always, and I will see you in the next game. Goodbye.